so the lights are back to normal here on Main Street. Holiday season's officially over, and Disney's 100th anniversary celebration kick-started today. So I tried some of the new rides, shows, food items. I did not wait in line for the popcorn buckets or the souvenir sippers. I just didn't have it in me today. The lines were really long. Some of them were over an hour and I'm like, you know what? They still have it when I come back, come by it then. Otherwise, I don't need to worry about it. So if you come in with a good attitude, you just be like, I get what I get. I'm gonna be happy with it. You're gonna have a great day. If you come in with your heart set on a specific piece of merchandise, I mean, you gotta roll the dice. You're also at the mercy of the lotto with the virtual queue for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. You just need to be okay with that. There's a very high likelihood that you will not get a ticket to the virtual queue. Not everyone in the park is going to make it, and I think everybody's trying for it. You might end up watching the fireworks show, which was pretty amazing, from the end of Main Street or from Tomorrowland, somewhere less than ideal. I can tell you, I came out a little over an hour before the fireworks show started, and I was almost at the end of Main Street. And I was thinking, dang, I should have stayed back by It's a Small World or over by Rivers of America in New Orleans Square. But I'd already picked and I thought by the time I get up and move, I can't come back, the spot's gonna be gone. So you just have to kind of set some realistic expectations for yourself. All the characters were out here on Main Street. When I came in this morning, they were here in this front plaza area. Donald, Goofy, Mickey, and Minnie, and Pluto were all in a different corner. But you know what? They cut off the lines at a certain point. So you gotta pick your favorite. And if you're lucky, you'll get two in. But you're probably just gonna get one. And that's awesome. You got a picture with your favorite character. Aside from Pluto, they're in their cute 100th anniversary outfits. The purple and the silver. So there's a lot to enjoy, a lot to appreciate. Um, I didn't get a chance to try very many of the food items. Uh, some of it was personal preference. Some of it was just lack of availability. They do have the Mickey statue here at the end of Main Street. You can get your picture taken. Or you can get your picture taken at the entrance of downtown Disney with the giant Mickey statue. I saw him on the way in. Didn't realize it was going to be impossible to take a picture with this Mickey today because they were filming. So you just can't let yourself get upset about these things. You come, if you're lucky enough to get a reservation, you come, you enjoy your day, spend way more money than you're planning on, maybe get a little sunburn, surely get some sore feet. But Disney's kind of what you make it these days. It's not uh, quite as magical on its own, but if you come in with the attitude that you're gonna have a magical day and it's gonna be wonderful, regardless of rides breaking down, regardless of things not going your way, you will have an amazing day. I had a lot of things go wrong today, but I had a lot of things go right today. And I just am choosing to focus on the positive. I feel all in all, the launch to the 100th anniversary was very successful. I'm looking forward to coming back and exploring more over the year. I gotta make it over to the new world of color. I'm super excited to see that and explore a little bit more of Lunar New Year before that goes away. So yeah, it's with the reservations, it's actually pretty hard to experience all the special stuff that Disney puts out. And I've just gotta be okay with that. It used to really bother me. And now you just gotta roll with it. So it's not quite midnight, but man, I have not put in a full day at Disney in a long time. Got here around nine. That's really early for me, you guys. And it was great. I did not do very much, I'm not gonna lie. I spent a lot of time sitting and relaxing and people watching, which is one of my favorite things to do at Disneyland. But, hey, thank you, good night. Good night, folks. All of these are good folks. There's nothing that says if you come to Disneyland, oh, there's the monorail with the silver wrap on it. There's nothing that says that if you come to Disneyland, you have to kill yourself by trying to get on the rides. And I just didn't. I just went on a few of my favorites, saw some characters, saw some bands, had some treats. 
just, you know, relaxed and had a good time. So it was a good day. Now I'm freezing. Need to stay awake to drive home. It's time to leave the magic behind and move back into the real world knowing I can come back again. So I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my fun Disneyland's 100th anniversary celebrations here on this opening day. If you haven't, I'll link to the video here showing Mickey and Minnie's runaway railway ride. You also can check out the fireworks show, a couple other special treats, and we'll see you real soon.